It was the first day of trade for the month of December and it was a cracking one. The market up by a massive 1.8%. It was on the back of talks between the US and China, the two countries deciding to come to a stalemate as they discuss a possible trade deal. So the US won't be raising tariffs on Chinese goods from 10% to 25% on the 1st of January as expected and instead has given 90 days for a trade deal to be nutted out. We saw risk assets soaring in particular the energy sector the best performing sector followed by the material space the aussie dollar also soaring to 73.6 us cents and there was plenty of news around on the market as well we saw grain corp shares up by 27 percent on a takeover offer we saw blue scope steel shares up by 12 percent on the back of a 250 million dollar buyback and some of those exporters to china are also doing well with bellamy's up by 12 percent a2 milk up by five percent and treasury wine estates up by three and a half percent with blackmores up by 3.2 percent as china clarified some of its new e-commerce regulations and lifted its uh, e-commerce import limit into china having a look at some of the uh poorer for performers on the market and we did see the reject shop uh, recommending that shareholders reject a takeover offer. The shares traded down 2.4% today and we saw Metcash coming out with its first half numbers. The shares were down 5% while we did see first half earnings for the group rising by 1.2% with food up by 2.4% and uh, liquor down by 1%. It was hardware which was a standout with earnings up by 34%. Unfortunately the outlook relatively soft with supermarkets um, being impacted by an $8 million investment in the second half. But all in all, the majority of stocks on the market were in the black and it was a good day for the Aussie share market.